Ah. <clears throat> Yo. What's going on, my brother? Just finished. Just finished a nice workout and a run. Later on, I'm going to do some pull-ups. I ain't come here to stay long, though. I'm try to post a video today or tomorrow. Freaking knuckle push-ups, man. This shit. What's up, man? Knuckle push-up. This shit stuck to my hands now, bro. What's good? What's going on? Oh, yeah. We grinding. Of course. I just finished a workout a while ago. My post to work. I just I recorded it too. So do some knuckle push-ups and other things. It should not come off my hands yet, though. So what's good? Any questions? I gotta eat, man, because before I start burning all that CrossFit Simeon. Nah, it's just. Um, what I'm doing is, um, I'm getting my groove back, man. You can't just stay the same all the time, you feel me? When we're going to see 5K push-ups soon. You can see 5K push-up, man. I got to practice that, though. Not practice it, like, I got to just get my joints and everything ready. You eat so much and the motivational training is gone. Trust me, the place I'm at right now is dead. I'm the only um, last one. Like I'm the last person that's that's being outside most of the time. Just running. I just started running. I never was running before. But it's a different thing. Are you? Um, yeah, I'm gonna visit Lincoln Terrace. Beast mode or no mode? Come on, you know the you know the um, you know the the vibes and shit, man. You know me. You know me, man. I don't fake my stuff, man. Everything I do is on go. No matter who I train with, I'm going to be on go. No matter if I'm tired, I'm going to still be on go. You got to build your body up to this level, man. My body is at a level where I'm on go. How often do you run? I try to run like at least four days a week or three days. I'm, I'm new to this running stuff, so I'm just trying to get certain things done. But when I run, I don't only run. I do a lot of push-ups and squats man my legs is getting better um my legs is getting better i'm feeling like a new i'm feeling like a new human being i'm not feeling like the old simi i'm getting um salute man i'm getting different dog and my body is changing up differently freaking ants is crawling me. um You've been running a mile of the gym. If it's hot outside, you should be going out. I mean, you should be going outside, bro. <sighs> that was a good ass run, man. You like my old workout videos? I can still do the same thing, bro. It's just the environment I'm in. Just listen to me. Let me explain to you. Um, I took um peace, peace. What's good, um? What's good? Bam, man, what's up, man? What's going on? Um, what up, no treadmill? I run on the streets? Okay. I took a um a job of fatherhood. And um the one I what I used to have before, the free time I used to have, free time, I don't really have that, but I still get it in. You feel me? I still find ways to do certain things. Um I'm far away from everybody, so it's hard to record the old school videos unless when I meet somebody, so I met somebody to say they want to record me. Unless I meet somebody that want to record me do the old school videos, I would do it. But if I'm just, the camera just standing still, how can I do the old school videos if I have to move to a different 
position, do this, do this. I'm gonna start editing, that's the point. So um, my, one of my friends said he's gonna help me, but when he start helping me do the old school videos, but to be honest with you, um, that's why I'm staying uh, um, afloat, man, because of when it's time to do, what's good, man? When it's time to do old school videos, I can, because I, I'll be able to do a lot of, my my body is in go, my body's in gold mode right now. Let you push a record in a row, probably a hundred and something. Today I was planning on doing 80 straight, 81 straight, just on, just for no reason. I just, I don't know why, I just wanted to shut up, show some love to Kobe Bryant. So I was just trying to do, not trying, but I even attempted, but I know I could do it. It's the crazy thing about it. Are you um, vegetarian? No. The crazy thing about it, I can just, I could just do 80, um, I could do 81 push-ups with, with ease. It's the crazy thing about it. Um, love, man. Appreciate it. Hi, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What it do? What it do? Um, the runner was so beautiful, man. You gonna serve for the army in two months? You better be ready to um to be training. I'm, I go to the army base and I just watch people train and they they train only weights and the weights the way they move the weights is so so boring to me, man. I be in a I, yesterday I went to the um, the Army J's gym and I didn't feel like I didn't feel like this shit was this shit was motivation to me. It's just people just standing still, just on the equipment. Feel me? Um, what you said? Simi, you should read the the book called Flow. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it on YouTube. I mean, uh, yeah, on YouTube. Damn, I wish I can translate, man. If I was on my laptop, I could translate what you just wrote there. Train, I train three times, four times, twice. I train mostly twice a day, bro, so it's no excuses, man. I'm not a vegetarian, no. I'm just um, just a normal human being. I just try to eat clean, bro. Um, I eat a lot of um, fruits, and I stay away from a lot of bad things. Um, I don't go to McDonald's and just go get a milkshake. I don't do certain things to, to make my body. I want to be able to... Um, I want to be able to be good for the person I'm, the person I'm with, my wife and stuff like that. So, if you, um, you know, having sex with your girl and you eating bad things and all that, you can't, you can't have sex with your girl raw. So, if you thinking that shit is good to eat bad things and you, you know what I mean, that's you gotta look at things like that. You getting older, long, yeah, long life, of course, man. People don't understand, man. Like I was just doing knuckle push-ups. I was doing other things. I was I eat better. I move better. I feel better. My legs is stronger. My arms is getting stronger again. Um, my abs is strong. I feel strong. I feel like a full package. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm not even gonna front with you. Like I'm not even playing. Would you try heavy squats? No. I will only go to um. I will only go to like 135. I won't pass 135. I'm not trying to have the biggest leg or the thing. I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I'm not trying to, bro, all right, let me, let me explain to you, okay? Let me explain to you. I went to the gym and I was doing weighted dips, man. 20, uh, I had 45 on my waist, 2 and 20 a set. Somebody you want to jump on, jump in with me. And if you see the way he was doing dips, do you want me to be able to be a bodybuilder and look big and the way they do dips look like a little, like a little child, like a little child? No, nah, I'm good. I want to do dips with power, you feel me? I don't got the time to be, to be big and slow in an, crazy thing about it. I stand next to big guys and um, I still look like I do certain things and I still move like calisthenics way. That's why um, if it's come to competition, my weight and people is like, is my weight is and and they not on my time and they're not going to be keeping up with me. I'm moving like a lightweight. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not even that heavy, but you feel my weight, the way I'm moving for my weight is different. Um, hold on. I really know why I I motivate, of course, man. I don't got to, bro, but I don't to tell you the truth, man. You gotta link up with me to understand, man. I'm not a I'm not a one to talk, bro. I'll back my shit up, man. Like you're not gonna see me do something on online and not do it in your face. I'll do it in your face twice. Back to back. You feel me? So it's like 
right now is just more more like understanding life um for the ones that's want to know more about me and me just tell you about myself um you look up for your weight and because i'm bro i'm telling you right now bro i'm on go mode right now i'm not lying to you like right now it's like but my, my my way of moving my mindset everything is like peaceful and go mode like i just finished working out people were just watching me working out telling me like yo bro son you're not stopping and i'm looking at them like bro i'm sorry bro i didn't even mean to make it look like that i'm just staying focused no music in my ears nothing just thinking you feel me my mind flow is the the best thing ever the character mind flow is the best thing ever man and feeling character like i can be able to work out and have a mind flow like on a not thinking oh shit it's too hot not thinking oh shit is is this and, oh it's hurting no i just i just take the pain and just keep moving on just like somebody just feeling to take a tattoo um just like that somebody that love to take a tattoo they take the pain and just move on to chill lay there for hours and chill i'm just chilling like to be honest with you I'm just chilling, bro. I just jump into the running world, and I'm moving like I'm moving like I've been in this shit. People that's running around the, the tracks, telling me how I'm doing 50 squats, 50 pushups, running around, doing it again and again and again. And I'm looking at them like, bro, it's just a pain that it's just pain that I just don't care about right now. Just doing it. Do you do thousand pushups a day? If I want to do a thousand pushups a day, I can do a thousand pushups a day. I do 500 pushups like it's nothing. I do 200 pushups like it's nothing. I just did 200 push-ups a while ago, like it's nothing. Do you hear? Um, you heard this music on Cali City Show, no, Lana? No, not really. But what I was trying to explain to y'all is this. Listen, listen, um, listen up closely for the grown man, young guys, and the ones that's actually sitting, sitting there and staying with me and understanding life, all right? last two years ago i wasn't i wasn't with my son and um not to say like my me and my wife wasn't good it's just certain situations was nothing with our wife and not with me and my wife is no bad thing it was just i wasn't there so i was always working out always have time always have people around me to record me and this and that now when you get older um you have to take a responsibility of being in the fatherhood so I took a responsibility that a lot of young guys or grown guys not even taking it because they have multiple kids and all that stuff. Like I say they have one family, they have, they're not taking care of the next family. Not to say not taking care of it, but they're not there. Taking care of your family doesn't mean that you have to spend money, you feel me? So me being there as a father and me being there as like as a working out person is just super hard on me, but I never, never come on the internet be like, yo, bro, I'm tired of this shit. I don't think it's this and that. I take it on. I take it on like... um like how it's supposed to be. So um, I'm telling the young guys now, if you cannot keep up with me right now, that means that you have a lot of work to put in and a lot of shit to, to do for your working out because I am taking care of a young guy and I am working out as twice as hard as like I'm not taking care of a young guy. Mostly every morning I wake up, I do a thousand reps. I'm not playing. Like if it's not dips, if it's not push up, if it's not squats, if it's not abs, if it's not toe raises, if it's not something, I'm doing a thousand of something. If I, if I have to mix it up together to be a thousand, thousand reps, it have to be done and mostly every single day. And I'm not trying to do a thousand reps to show the world like I could do a thousand reps every day. It's just the passion, bro. Feel me? The passion of working out is different with me. I don't just working out just to be able to look good on the camera. I don't do that, bro. I do a working out because of the simple fact that I look at life as a long jeopardy and what can I accomplish in the long run and how can I look in the long run. I don't want to be coming on here just talking like I does this shit, this and that. I'm not that type, man. I only protect and I only show the real how to how to really grind. I don't take no protein shake. I don't take none of this stuff like that. I don't take no extra stuff so you can believe I'm doing that for you to, for you to believe I'm getting stronger for that. I go to sleep. Sometimes I get like three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, and I wake up to work out. Remember, I have a young kid taking care of. You think my young kid don't wake up at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and then I have to be up until like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when he fall back asleep for a little nap and then wake him up doing this and that. Between his sleep time, I work out. So for the excuses a lot of people are making and for the questions people asking me and for the other things people asking me, like, listen to me, I save my money. Um, after I save my money, I take care of my kid. Um, I work out hard. 
I don't do that partying where you get drunk and you just think I go out. If if I have to go out with my friends or my wife, um, I would not that drink that much. Not because I don't want to have fun or anything like that. Just because of the purpose, man. I'm 33 years old, man. I started this when I was 20 something, 27, 20, uh, um, 20 something. I started this late. So if you started this younger than me. Um, you have a way ahead of step than me. You have a way better chance than me. People always, uh, some elder, one of the elders said that I'm not young. I'm like, yo, I'm young in the game, bro. I ain't, I ain't been started this shit. The younger guys, they got younger guys in the game been started um, younger than me. Thought you was 22, no cap, because I take care of myself. I just told you, bro. I drink water, a lot of water. I drink um, fruits, drink. Um, I eat a lot of fruits. Um, bro, if... Uh, I, I eat healthy, son. Like, I really do. Um, what else, man? I look at I look at things that girls girls supposed to be doing. No, no homo. Like, I'm saying, like, girls, a lot of girls supposed to be eating a lot of good thing, fruits and all that. And a lot of guys is having sex with girls raw that eat nasty, eat McDonald's, eating it. That's all that dirty thing. So what I'm trying to tell you, I don't know how much I weigh right now, but I'm not even studying that right now. Right now, it's just a grinder. Just a grinder. I'm not lying to you. I'm just... Um, on go mode right now it's nothing about just checking weight or doing this i know i have to do reps you feel me reps and is that's the whole point of me right now it's like reps i lost a lot by sacrificing certain things for my son now it's time to get it back so it's not no thing i had to move to a house i had to move move furniture i have to do this i have to fly this i have to fly to st lucia i have to go there i have to fly to new york i have to go get clothes i have to do this i have to do this I'm gonna have to do this. I have to do that. So right now I'm at a stere I'm at a place where I'm relaxing now. Like now is it's, it's a point of time I'm attacking now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When you get older, when you have certain certain things to do, um, let, let me explain this to y'all. If you wasn't, if you wasn't, um, I started 26. I'm 31. You respect, man. Um, if you in Brooklyn right now, let's say anybody in Brooklyn right now and they working out hard and then you take them from that environment of Brooklyn and you just you just put them in a place like where I'm at right now, like Georgia. Right? Well, how hard do you how hard is you think it is for the person to work out? A lot of people think in the um they well how can I say this? They strong minded until you take, they, till they take you out your situation where you're comfortable and they put you, they put you someplace that you're uncomfortable, that's when is the real test. Like right now, the test for me is easy, man. That shit is like a, a walk in a park. Why are you, um, why are you sharing all this knowledge? Because a young, because when I was younger coming up in this game, a lot of older guys wasn't sharing knowledge with me. So I'm, I'm gonna be, when I get older, I'm gonna be the elder to be better than some of the elders, if you get what I'm saying. A lot of the elders, and I'm not saying everybody, I'm just pointing out the facts and nobody can speak up to and say I'm wrong. Or any, or, 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 I even open a freaking mouth because I'm the freaking one. When I mean I'm the one, I'm the one that just grind. I grind for what I have, I grind for, for who I am as today. I grind my character, I grind everything. When I was coming up in the game, a lot of elders, they had not all the elders, but a lot of elders would laugh. And I'm not talking about the elders that's not in the game. I'm talking about the one that's on the internet. They will laugh. They will say this. They will say that. Not every one of them, like I said. They would not give the knowledge to the younger kids. They will make they will make it seem like saying that our generation is trash and the generation is better. And all that. I am not speaking about like I'm gonna say this again. I'm not speaking about one person. I'm not speaking about a particular person. I'm just speaking of how I really feel, and if you don't understand how I feel, it's up to you. I don't give to stuff, to be honest with you. What I'm trying to tell you is that when I came in the game, a lot of people was not showing how they're supposed to be treating the younger guys to make them get better. Nowadays, not everybody, like nowadays people say, oh, that generation is not that good. Some of y'all dudes in y'all generation is not even better than me in y'all generation. Like, I'm dead ass. I'm better than some of y'all dudes in y'all generation and this generation. And I can just, you know, have, it, it's, it's videos and it's, it's videos and it's me right now, it's today to prove it. And that's just being honest. 
And some of the dudes I'm not better than, the elders I'm not better than, they, they legendary. And some of y'all, the older guys, is still legendary. But to me, the mindset is the, um, the way to attack the youth. You feel me? A lot of youth is not going to listen to me and listen to other people because of the simple fact they don't, they don't want to listen. But to be honest with you, I, want, I share knowledge, free knowledge, because at the end of the day, when I needed the free knowledge, there wasn't nobody there for me. I was training the snow. Nobody was telling me, don't take your shirt off. You're going to get ammonia. Nothing like that, unless the internet was telling me that. They were just excited for me doing it. And um, what else? They, certain people, when I was doing muscle-ups wrong, instead of telling me how to do it and pulling me aside, some of them laugh and be like, yo, this internet guys, they always on the internet. People have talked to me. And next thing I'm gonna say this, I'm, I never was gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it. Um, people have come to me and tell me how other people was telling me I was taking steroids when I was getting bigger in Brooklyn. All that stuff had been said about me and I never one lick to just come there and just disrespect certain others. So what I'm trying to tell you is that I don't come here and curse. But how I really feel, I feel like cursing and being like, yo, this and that, this and that. But I am, as a younger guy again, to be a man, knowing that, yo, all that don't really matter. That shit is just a, a, a wind blowing by. It's just understanding it and moving on. So me teaching the people how to get better and me teaching them, stop worrying about, um, don't feed off. Nah, I don't feed off negative energy. I was just talking and telling you, y'all asked me a question. I stopped feeding off a negative energy when I used to use negative energy as motivation. I stopped doing that because I learned that even though you're doing that, it's still not good for your soul. You feel me? And right now, it's just I'm telling you that I'm giving out a lot of free knowledge because when I needed the free knowledge while I was getting better, I could have been stronger than what I am. People came up to me and told me, like some of them guys over wanted you to see certain sets because they feel like you're going to take in a post on the internet. Some people don't want me, some people don't even want me to get stronger. Just understand that. I'm not, bro, it's not me saying that, bro. It's people coming to me. If, if, if they lying to me, they lying to me. But if, if they're not lying to me and it's true, it's true, bro. Like, people tell me certain things. People don't want me to see certain sets. People don't want me to do this. If people, don't, people don't want me to get stronger off of their set. They will cry. They will bitch. Because of the simple fact that, um, I guess, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I, I used to understand it, but I don't understand it now getting older. You feel me? Like, I, nowadays, now, right now, I don't even care, bro. I just show respect. You feel me? Unless you disrespect, I would disrespect. That's why I tell people, man, like, you can't really disrespect me because I'm a person with kindness and a person that share knowledge and a person that grind for what he have. I don't ask people for nothing. I don't, people don't owe me nothing. I don't owe nobody nothing. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? So if people if, if people are saying like I am not a motivation, I don't understand what to, what to tell the younger guys, man. I don't owe nobody nothing. I work every way. I work every step away from everything I have, man. I never had papers, man. I was cry, but they had days I was crying because all my people was doing shit. I couldn't even get a job because I had no papers, man. I was born in St. Lucia, where people when I saw my the home, some of the people comment saying. This is um, they, they look poor, this and that. And to be honest with you, them dudes, them people have money and the people is living good. The people is eating. I'm eating way better than I'm eating down there than I was eating up here. Every day I was eating food. Now I'm eating food, then I have to sometimes go buy food. And you feel me? So it's, it's, really, it's really different. Um... That's a fact. Don't because you lost me as a friend, you gained me as an enemy. I, a lot of people lost me, but I never mad at them. I never think that. Even certain people that talk down on certain things I do, I still pick up for them. I still look out for them. And a lot of people I look out for, they wouldn't even know that I looked out for them. So to be honest with you, I help so much, man. I help young guys that's in the game get better, and they are with other teams. And I heard I help females get their name out there to to do certain things. I help guys to get the name out there. I help so much, man. I help so much, but do I ask for help? And I'm not saying I'm not a person that don't need no help, but I don't ask for nothing. All I do is trying to be a, a human being that people want in on this, a lot of people want on this earth. A human being that just, I mean, work his ass off, go through our life, don't cheat your way, and don't tell people stuff they want to hear to make you they to, to make yourself look bigger or better than them people you feel me i'll tell you the same thing every single time nigga i was broke nigga like i had nothing nigga. i, I was playing i had nice jordans nice shoes
but in my pocket I had like what fifty dollars twenty dollars a lot of guys out there probably still do even seeing people that's older they have nice shoes nice Jordans nice products still have fifty dollars still have a hundred dollars like I can't have a hundred dollars and have nice things bro I can't do that and not because of um I'm not saying everybody I don't know I can't explain that part but you know I'm just trying to get better Of course, I'll give you knowledge with people selling the book, man. I'll give you knowledge about the fitness game that you would even know about. Certain things I know about the fitness game, if I put it out and make certain people understand what certain shit been going on, how certain people be talking, it's it's like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to negative, but it's like me understanding that route. It's like, man, the new generation that we're in, I am not telling them to go on the internet and just do a YouTube. I'm telling them to grind their ass off, but some of them don't listen to me. Because um, when the elders say the game is not that how it was before, it's because of some of y'all people in the new generation, y'all don't care about nothing else but just having a freaking a view. That's, not, that's all y'all care about. Y'all don't care about the culture as a whole. Like, I gave so much to the culture that I don't even need to be in the culture to give to the culture, bro. I am the freaking culture, and people got to understand that. Like, I work my ass off every single day by myself every day by myself um we got to walk through the fire alone of everybody got to walk through the fire alone if you can't walk through the fire alone i don't know how you die you're gonna die you, when you die you're gonna you're gonna be a, you're gonna have a, a terrible death um what else man what up Sammy? What up, man? Simi Fax, what's good? What's good? What's good, my boy? Um, I'm just not even pouring my heart. I'm just being real, bro. I have no grudge against anybody. I could talk to anybody as long as they have the respect. If you don't have the respect or you don't have the kindness, I don't want to be around that shit. To be honest with you. What up with my knuckles? I was just doing knuckle push-ups. I was doing knuckle push-ups, bro. And it's stuck right there and it's hurting. It's like a cut. I tried to take it out a while ago, but it's, you know what I mean? Um, respect for me, Lee. Love your mentality. I appreciate it, man. You know, everybody show me love from different countries. Every country in the world, I had somebody just, not, not somebody, but people be writing me from different areas and my mentality is not for the internet to just say it to make it seem like i'm just better than others or i think better than others i had to learn and yo moses man i appreciate that you'll continue doing that fat loss thing i even though you even though you think i don't watch i watch bro i was just paying attention to your fat loss about oatmeal a while ago so i hope you want i hope you use that as motivation to be like i don't see simeon but simeon do see me bro to be honest with you, I just watched your oatmeal video a while ago. I pay attention, bro. I'm not a, a person that just just stick with my own methods, bro. I try to learn and observe and pay attention to people. How many pull-ups a day should I do if I have a max? I'm um, 20 max. Um, you should just you should just do um, 250 a day is really good. If you're trying to be able to do pull-ups only, sometimes, like I told you, my life is different now. Sometimes I can't touch the pull-up bar because I have so much things to do. Sometimes I can't go far away from my house because my son need me close. So the pull-up bars I have is like in a military base where I have to drive and all that. Did you do knuckle push-ups or just had a... Um, I did knuckle push-ups, man. The only reason I do knuckle push-ups because when I do flat ground and push-ups, I don't feel I don't feel like I'm going all the way down, if you understand. Which I am going all the way down, but the knuckle push ups make you make you um like a hundred percent, okay? You locking out down. I used to be the guy where I was just doing push ups just to do push ups. Now it's like I'm doing push ups to like to for my for my liking. I'm not doing it for you. I could do eighty push ups straight right now and it won't mean nothing if I just do 50 push-ups my way. You get what I'm saying? So um, what I'm trying to tell you is 50 
50 push-ups my way, for me, is hurting my body more than I just attack 81. And 81 is like, I'm gonna go for 81 for a video. Because everybody like, yo, Simeon, how much you push a max? I don't know, bro. I could do 81, though. So if I could do 81, knowing the confidence, I could do 81. Imagine me doing 100. You feel me? Um, hold on. Blessings, bro. Small token for your family. Um, definitely, bro. That $70 you have spent is going to go straight to, um, to ham, ham, seed, ham seed for my son. Milk that I use. I don't, I don't use the regular milk. I use, like, ham seed milk for my son and it costs like what twenty five dollars for like for like four four of those um so fifty dollars you can have like eight um nine so just to be honest with you that that sixty that seventy dollars you send is well spent it's not gonna spend on on dumb stuff so I appreciate you for giving me that light token and that light token you gave me is nothing man but remember money money um Money, you when you lose money and you give money away, you didn't lose nothing. You, you feel what I'm saying? You didn't lose nothing. You didn't lose your character. You 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 didn't lose your um, you didn't lose nothing. You can have you could give me seventy dollars right now from your bank account and you have seventy dollars only in your bank account. You have zero dollars now. Trust me enough. You didn't lose nothing in life, bro, because that seventy dollars, man, shit is nothing. That shit will do nothing for you. At the end of the day, I start to learn that as um, a human being that money. Having money in your bank account will do nothing for you. I could watch people walk around. People look unhealthy. I go by the pool. Fat people just are all around the pool. And they feel like this is like, that's it. They walk their ass. So I'm sorry for saying, I mean, I don't want to come online and say words like that. But they'll, they'll walk in their car with a Benz with fresh AC. Their stomach hanging out. They, um, they breathing. Un they can't breathe properly. In nights or At nights, they snore like a bear. You feel what I'm trying to tell y'all? The, the mindset of the um, society nowadays is like, it's in a different bracket. You feel me? Um, hold on. The world need, needs you, man. The world needs everybody, man. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm sorry if I didn't read everybody's stuff, man. I'm, I apologize. Um, what else I trying to say now? Um, talking to somebody, who, who you was talking to? When you doing, um, set service and feeling over, what do you mean? When I'm doing a lot of set reps and you're not feeling overtrained, um, I don't feel overtrained a lot of times because I'm my mindset is on go. Even though when I finish and I feel like that's good enough. Let's say I would do, let's say I would do a lot of reps, right? And I feel like that's good enough. Let's say I'll do a thousand pushes right here in front of your face on this live, and I already did pushes. I could still do a thousand pushes right here on your face, and then I when I go home, I feel like it's not good enough. It's never gonna. I'm never gonna feel satisfied because I just. I don't know, just me. I never feel satisfied. But my father always tell me that hunger is always good. Never feel satisfied. But that's a good thing. At least I never feel satisfied for working out, but not for different things. Like I tell my wife all the time, like, you 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 lucky to have somebody like me. I don't want fuss over money. I don't ask look, listen to me. I don't ask my wife no money. I don't ask my mom no money. I don't ask my father no money. And that's the three people in the life I can ask money to and I could get it. I don't ask them. They ask. And I'm a day. Like, you know what I'm saying. Some of them ask me. I don't ask nothing. And that is a trade that I learned from working out. I don't ask. If you give me, you give me. If you give me, I still won't need it. I just, I don't know, bro. It's just me as a human being nowadays, man. It's like, I feel like, I feel like, um, I don't need nothing really. Oh, what is the best pull-ups for um, wide? Um, I think every last one of the pull-ups is good. Wide, close, um, L-sits, stuff like that. Do muscle-ups hurt your shoulders? Um, muscle-ups is not a good movement to do, to be honest with you. Um, muscle-ups is only a movement to like, if you if you um, completely get your shoulder strength good and you get your 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 um, your muscle up right. If you do a muscle up terrible, it's gonna hurt your shoulder. That's why a lot of young kids right now, um, 
have injuries or get, gonna get injuries. A lot of young kids gonna get injuries because they don't listen. They don't listen at all. Like I, I used to be them, so I understand it. I tell people all the time, like, yo, bro, that muscle ups you're doing is not good for you because you're not doing it proper. You're not doing it with power. You're not using extra power from your core, your legs, to keep your, your core and your legs a certain way and doing it good enough. Y'all thinking just doing muscle ups just the crazy way like I used to do is just thing I learned, bro. If I had learned that from before, I would have been 10 times better. That's what I mean by some of the elders not teaching me the right way. If I had learned how to do proper muscle up way better, I would have been way better. If I was, if I learned from certain people that just want to teach me, I would have learned way better. If people don't sit on a high horse and try to pull me aside and call me and be like, yo, Simeon, I want to get you better because you are part of our community, I will get 10 times better. But a lot of people won't do it because of the same fact that they pride, the way they move, stuff like that. So you have to start understanding, bro, and wake up. A lot of y'all guys, um, I'm not saying I'm better than you or think better than you, but a lot of guys need to wake up and think and stop making it seem like the world is out for you, bro. Like, to be honest with you, I'm being honest with you, bro. I don't care about a lot of y'all people. Not to say, like, I don't have respect for what y'all doing for me. I'm just giving you a, 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 a thing. When I think about life, I don't think about you. And you should not be thinking about me unless you coming on here and showing me love, unless I'm showing y'all love by speaking knowledge to y'all. But when we're talking about coming and working out, I'm just being honest with you. When you come to our coming, you gotta understand what I'm saying. When it's someone, when it's time to work out and I teach you certain things, use it and don't care about me. Just use it and be like, okay, you know what? I learned that from Simi, you know what? I'm gonna go hard because at the end of the day, is you don't have to give me props on that. You don't have to say that because some of the stuff I learned, I learned from other people. Some of the stuff I learned, I took from other people and I just use it. You feel me? So I am not the one that's creating everything. I don't create everything. Everybody's creating everything. I just use stuff and use it as my own stuff and just go. Be on, to be honest with you, I'm my own person. You could tell me how to work out right now. You could tell me how to work out right now. It's up to me. It's up to me to do it. The best way to work on your shoulders. Um, everybody say pipe push-ups, but I say I do a lot of I do a, I do a lot of dips. I do thousands of dips. I tell people the best way to work on your shoulder is to isolate your dips. So someday you do a thousand plus, do, do 1,500 to 2,000 dips. Some people might say that's too much, but at the end of the day is when y'all ask questions, y'all ask me how I get my dips, my shoulders better, and I tell y'all. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? I always tell people. Imagine somebody asks me this question. Imagine somebody say this. Simeon, but that's too much reps. I don't feel like doing all I'm reps. Well, why are you asking me then? Because that's how I did it. Why are you asking me? How are you asking me how to get my shoulders better if I show you how to do it? I don't, I don't get that. If you seeing how I'm doing it, I'm doing 1,000 plus dips, 1,500 sometimes. I'm doing a dips with, with weighted dips. I'm doing dips. Like, I am doing it. I am not talking. I'm doing it right in your face. I am just doing it for you to see. I don't, the, the stuff I do is how I build my body. I don't build my body off of just going to the gym and lifting up heavy shit so I can come back and do dips for y'all. If I, listen to me, if I go to the gym right now and get my gym, my shoulders better, when it's time to do a thousand dips, it's not going to happen that easy. Just be honest with you. The more you do weighted on your shoulder, the harder to, 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 to do calisthenics dips. Um, can, um, arm training, how can you get um, them bigger? I just explained to y'all again. I just explained the same thing to you. I do a thousand push-ups plus. I do thousands of push-ups. I do thousands of dips. Some of y'all saying that number is high, but to be honest with you, it's not that high. You know what's high? It's having time for yourself. That's all it is. If you can't do a thousand push-ups, if you can't do a thousand, right? Listen to me. You're doing 500, 200, all that stuff is going to add up because it's going to get stronger than you're going to be able to do 500, then you're going to be able to do 1,000. Get what I'm trying to tell you? Um, a lot of people want to just jump in a game and be able to compete with others or be able to look the part. That's not what it's supposed to be. I grind for almost like going up to like eight, nine years, bro. Y'all really thinking that people are in the game for 20 years and they... And I'm learning from people that are in the game. They're younger than me. I'm learning from people that have been in the game 20 years and stuff like that. It's like, it's no, I don't know. 
Hold on. Mm. Oh yeah, I work out, bro. I the whole time y'all think I wasn't working out. I don't stream everything I do. I stream. I, to be honest with you, I did more reps off the camera than I did on camera so far on YouTube. I, and I have a lot of videos. I have like 400 and something videos. I did more workouts off camera than on camera. I am, bro, to tell you the truth, man, I am not, I am not the best. I'm not even the best I'm supposed to be right now. Um, I can't even properly see, bro. Hold on. Oh, my legs, man. My legs, my legs. I just did a lot of squats, so my legs are... St mm. Hold on. Look close. What's the glare? Mm. Less than two hours. Um, I got to practice that again. You said 1,000, 2,000 push-ups and 1,000 dips, less than two hours. I got to practice some things like that. I can't tell you if I could do it in two hours. I got to just try. If I could do it, I could do it. It's, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just trying to, are you um, see everybody doing legs? Oh, no, you said, good to see everybody doing legs now. Good to see everybody doing legs now. To be honest with you, I supposed to been learning to do legs. You know why I had a good leader? Um, Juice was a good leader for me because he told me to do legs and I never listened. I was doing legs, but I wasn't doing legs as much. I was running, I wasn't doing legs as much. And I wanted to say this to, for y'all, man. They got a lot of leaders in this game. But to me, Juice is one of the, the people that tell me what's gonna happen before it happened. He looked at me, he told me, bro, if you start doing this, you'll be better. Um, if you thought doing this, Shredder is seeming the best. Well, Shredder is a motivator to me. You see how that, um, y'all say I'm, I'm motivated. Shredder motivates me from since, um, I joined in the game because I, he been in the game for almost 20 years. I don't know for 20 years, but almost 15 plus years. And he been a motivator to me. Um, I look up to his craft. I, I respect what he do as, um, as a human being when it comes to working out. Besides, um, besides that, man, whatever you do, I don't really, I don't really study because I don't really, I don't really study the guy. I just, I just have respect for his work and I have respect for him as a person. Um, the person I want to work out with is Shredder, man. I want to do a video, a video. I want to work out with him, do a video with him. Um, and I'm not, not because of anything, bro. It's because um, I've been to him. I told him in his face too. So for the ones that's in here. I told the dude that in his face. I said, yo, bro, I look up to you, bro. I look up to you and when it comes to this working out stuff, you are motivated to me. And that's just being the honest truth. I don't sit there and make people feel like, I make people feel like, oh, they not good enough or they not the one, man. Be honest with you. You can ask them yourself, ask them when y'all go on when it's live, ask him yourself when you go on live. Ask him did Simeon ever tell you look up to you. Um Yeah, shout out to them, man. Shout out to Shredder and Broly and doing the best for the young generation. Um That's they, at least they have a path for, for the younger generation to, to look after and watch. Certain people certain people are good certain people the intention is to grow. If you watch Shredder, he have a, a mean way of doing it, but his, his intentions is for you to grow. My way is different from his because I'm more like just free, just chilling. He's more like a, a protector, you feel me? I'm more, I'm a protector, but I chill the most. And I'm not trying to break down his character or anything. I'm just saying like, everybody could tell the difference between me and Shredder and me and Broly and me, Shredder and Broly, everybody. Uh. He Shredder got nice over the years, of course. When I first met Shredder, Shredder was, Shredder was always chill, but he had a, a different side of him, you feel me? But to be honest with you, can you really blame him, Ben? You don't know what the guy going through. You don't know what's, what's around him. You don't know nothing, bro, so I don't look at, 
Show sure, like how everybody look at Shorty sure, like you're a mean person, bro. Um, I look at him as a motivator, you feel me? Need people like him. What's your, your opinion on one meal a day? Are you fat? Are you skinny? Are you in the middle? If you're in the middle, one meal a day, and you're trying to just stay there, it's, up, it's, it's good. If you're fat, one meal a day is great. If you're skinny, I don't think so. I don't think so. I eat one meal a day right now because I'm trying to burn a little bit and gain when I want to. I'm at a position, y'all, I'm at a position where I can get bigger, I could get smaller, I could get, I don't know about fat, but I could get bigger or smaller. Anyone I choose, you work out, you working out? I just finished working out, I could work out again though. I'm thinking about what else to do. I was just sweating hard, bro. I was just running and all that. That running stuff is, is annoying. Um, what else can I do though? Oh, my legs. Oh yeah, that video is gonna be epic, bro. And now with the time that we meet up, before, when I come down to New York, the first thing I'm gonna do is hand up shirt. I'll be like, yo, shut up, bro. Um, link up, man. You feel me? If I have to come link up or you have to come link up, but link up. Um, the next thing, too, is my mind's gonna be on go mode, man. Running will definitely gas you. I've been running for like four days straight, so my legs is kind of stiff, like it's hurting me. How you do, how you train legs? Um, I do 50 pound weighted squats with a dumbbell. I do squats and running. I do jump squats. Um, I do like lunges sometimes, but I'm trying, bro. Nothing beats trying, bro. I'm trying, like I'm trying. Um, I stretch my legs now. I do stretches on my legs. Um, I meditate. I think about legs when, it's, when I'm sore to get more. Can you do some um, crazy pistol squats? Of course I can do pistol squats. Do I feel like getting up? If I get up right now, I'm getting off, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I came on lot to speak to y'all for a little bit. I'm gonna post a video of what I just did a while ago so you can understand that. I was just running, then I did that. No, I was running, yeah, and then I waited a little bit, then I did the video, then I came here. You feel me? Ooh. I'm trying, bro. Nothing beats trying. One thing, one thing I learned is nothing beats trying. They got a nice pool over there I can go to, but I'd rather just sit back and relax, man. Take some fresh air. Yeah, I want to. Let me see if I can turn my camera. Oh, nice pool over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's whatever. But this is a cool vibes. A cool vibes, I mean, see, I'm all, it's the sun is hot, nobody be really there. I be there by myself, chilling, working out. Um, I have, I have a pull-up bar, I'm gonna be doing weight, I'm, next time I go live, I'm gonna go try to do some pull-ups for y'all over here. Um, what, what are you, based on, you say fan? Well, let me try to switch the camera. You say you a fan? My brother, don't be a fan, bro. I don't, I ain't come over here to get, to get fans. I came over here to get family. I want a family, bro. That's what I want. I don't want no fan. I grew up, I grew up rough, bro. I grew up with, um, my parents is, is in New York. I was with my grandma in St. Lucia for a little bit. Left St. Lucia for 20 years, go back 20, 22 years, 23 years. Went back to see my grandma and my family in a long time, shed tears when I saw her. And plus, when I went by the beach, a lot of things, a lot of people don't even know that. And no, you don't, it's, it's no problem to talk about shit like that. But when I went by the beach, I, had, I was holding my grandmother. She's like 93 years old. I started, I was crying for like 30 minutes. And then I realized life, man. I started to realize like, this is what I really needed. I really needed to see her. Um, what else? Um, it's a lot of things that we gotta just, 
what you said, I've been doing 100 push-ups a day for about three weeks. You should, I, should I do more? Yes, you should do more. And plus, you should uh, add on squats. Stop. You, was you, um, you wasn't born in the U.S.? No. I was born in St. Lucia. Raised and born in St. Lucia. I came up from in the U.S. at 10, going until 11 years old. I went back. I didn't go back in St. Lucia until 22 years, bro. 22 years after I didn't go back. And I couldn't go back because I had no papers. So imagine coming up to the U.S. and you don't have no papers. And you can't do nothing in the U.S. besides work out and stay different. I had chances to do scams, um, do other things. I choose not to do none of them stuff. I choose to be, I'm not saying I'm not a, a people that do shit, not a good citizen, but I choose to be staying out the way because I always had a feeling that if I start doing shit like this, I'm going to be in the system. And when it's time to get my papers, I can't get it. Um, do you get married for your papers? No, I didn't get married for my papers. I got married because I love my woman. And she gave me my papers. Me and my woman, if I, if I don't, if we don't last, I, I will cherish her for the rest of my life as a, a human being, because of a lot of females right now, is, is just moving around, just doing whatever they have to do. They have only fans. They have a lot of stuff for females to, to do to be able to be successful in this world. So. They're not gonna get married to people. They don't need, they're not gonna help people. And nowadays, people just spend $20,000 to get married. And let me stop talking like that before I spoil, before I spoil people thing. But when you ask questions like that, be careful, bro. You don't, don't ask questions about, yo, did I get married for my paper? Because people are gonna think that I'm getting married for that and that's not what I did. And I'm going for my citizenship now. I'm about to be a citizen in the U.S. And, dude, imagine that's a, that's an accomplishment for me, man. Accomplishment for people is to be making millions or doing something. Accomplishment for, for, for me from being at, in St. Lucia is to be able to be a citizen from coming here to for being an immigrant, you feel me? And I'm a good, I'm a good citizen, so I don't get in trouble. I don't, be, I, don't, I don't be with the law. I don't be with no bullshit, so... The system, if they don't want to give my papers because they, it's got to be because they don't, they don't like me as a person because I do nothing wrong to anybody in this world or do anything wrong to this world to make this world feel like I'm a bad citizen to the United States of America. You feel me? I only protect. If I have to protect myself, that's it. But I don't really need to protect myself because I don't put myself in that areas. Um, imagine... Imagine Broly just probably, man, I'm, I'm far away from Broly, bro. I'm all the way in Georgia. Oh, he probably, he probably in Miami right now. Um, does, does that mean you, you could never work? Yes. Uh, that means I could never work. You know how much job application I went to and I couldn't get the job because of, um, because they tell me I need the papers. You know, my jobs that let me go because when it comes down to to tax season, they couldn't they couldn't file me, they couldn't file for me or anything. So they had to let me go before people come and watch it. It was hard. Just understand this. It's not no freaking easy job where you see it and somebody do it was hard. Imagine the only way some people could work is because of Obama Obama gave them a position to get job, bro. Like I told you, I have I have certain things that when I tell you, I kind of say save my life. Yeah, yeah, really thinking that I'm just working on it to work out no i worked out because i had nothing else to do in this world but just work out and get myself better in in fitness and health because of because i had no choice bro either either go do certain things to make money either do go to the bad route because they wasn't gonna give me no job or thing so let me tell you this i went working out met somebody off of working out they gave me a job off the books because of the simple fact that they, i was doing fitness and they love my they love why I was attacking my fitness, my motivation. They, they, they sell me, they say, yo, see me, I could give you a job at this place. This is, my, this is my place, don't worry, man. You've been a good motivation to me, this and that. So understand this, yo. A lot of people that's watching me right now, understand I had a job because I was working out, because the person that owned the business loved what I was doing. Imagine that. So just think about it, man. Think about what I'm telling you. 
for the young kids, man. Think about this, man. Whatever you do, gray in this world, they always got somebody that's going to put their hand out to help you. Now, I can get a job different places if I want to. Uh, you feel like working out all you have left, and it's not a bad thing. I promise you it's not a bad thing. Every Listen, everybody tell me this thing. Uh, what you think about porn? Porn, um, porn is a demon, demon thing, man. Porn is a demon thing, man. Tell you the truth. Listen, at the age, at the age, young age, the more you hold your semen in, the better you as, as a person that are working out and all that. When you get older, you gonna need to bust nuts because you gonna need your um, your body need to release when you get older. But when you're younger, you can hold in a lot of stuff. That's the point of, you know what I mean, taking advantage when you're younger and. Sex is um is a part of like birth, like for kids and all that. Sex is saying now sex is being abused, sex is being for money, sex is for everything. A sex is supposed to be for females, a pleasure, like like putting them in a temple. A lot of I, I could talk on and on about this. A lot of people having sex with females that put in McDonald's, um, KFC, um the milkshake, the honey bun, um, a whole bottle of Casamigos, not only Casamigos, a whole bottle of Hennessy, and the water inside of them is so polluted and so nasty. By the time you're fucking that, you're getting unhealthy, you don't even know that. So be careful who you fucking, bro. Like, to be honest with you, I don't wanna talk about some guy, I, I probably kids is watching me and younger than thing, but to be honest with you, be careful who you fucking, bro. People out there is fucking people that's nasty, bro. Being nasty is not about washing your pussy, bro. That's not, that's, bro, being nasty is what you put in your body. And do you know your juice and all that juice is coming on your fucking, your fucking, sorry for cursing though, but your, um, your private part and on your, on your, your hair and your private part, you should stuck there. If you don't go bathe, some of y'all do is having sex and not going to bathe right away after the sex and just leaving it there and, I'm being honest with y'all, man. Like, health is comes a different, different thing. A lot of people will not gain a body because of the simple fact that they unhealthy. Not only with eating, of way they live in their life. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? You can go have sex, be go work out good, eat good, and go have sex with a nasty person. Don't bathe really. Let, go fall asleep after you have a sex and thing in there, not knowing the person you fucking is having. Nothing but nasty food, nothing but fried chicken from the chicken spot, nothing but McDonald's shakes, nothing but cookies and all the nasty stuff that's, not, not only cookies, but you know what I mean. All that bad energy, always arguing with people, always, always having bad vibes, always talk about people, always just not it's just not having a good energy period and you all there just having sex with that one female just because she got a fat ass <laughs> and then be like yo son i'll be tired i can't even do a lap I'm, i'll be tired be gasted i can't work out my bones is hurting me your bones is hurting you the only reason your bones is hurting you because you're not taking care of yourself and like i said taking care of yourself is not only about you it's who you carry around you, your energy, the people you have a sex with. That's the bad energy that you gotta understand. Why you think everybody say, oh, Simeon, you could train five, seven, eight, ten days a, a week. Um, do you have sex? Yes, I do, I still do have sex, bro. It's just that, bro. I just take care of myself, bro. You feel me? Um And I'm not, yo, bro, that's a fact too, but I'm not coming here and telling people, young guys, not to go have sex with females. I'm just saying, bro. Some of y'all, some of y'all do is have like four or five females and four of them females eat anything they want. They will eat a pig, a whole pig. They eat a whole pig and be like, and come the next day, now the next day, come the same day, I sex with you, they water. You don't know female have water? 
Um, mature role model. Shit. Sure. Not yet. I'm not really a true role model yet. I'm working on that. I'm working on better in myself. It's not only mental better. People always think about you just got to be smarter and on there. It's not only that. It's co correcting your wrongs. Your wrongs is, is the most important thing. It's correcting your wrongs. Taking your attitude and putting it in a bowl where you don't explode. You don't, you know what I mean? When you when you hate certain situations, you're trying to, you're trying to work around it, not to explode. A lot of people will say this. Yo, Simeon, I'm, I'm a good guy. Then fuck around and argue with their girlfriend for simple shit. Sometimes when you write, you write. To be honest with you, some of the, some of you write don't always mean you write. I remember I tell you that. Every time you write don't always mean remember um, means you write. My father always tell me that. Everything, everything, every, you could be right in in ten situations. No, nine out of ten situations, you only write probably two times because certain people they're not mentally grow, growing up yet to understand you, which what you can understand. Whatever my father can understand right now, I don't understand it right now. But I'm trying to learn to understand it as I'm right now, so I talk to him more. You feel me? Do you practice semi retention? I used to. I can't. I can't practice that, like that. But I try to practice it as much as possible. Meaning, like, I don't try to everyday type shit. I go with the flow. I go if she want it. I go if I want it. I go with this and that. But when I do want it, sometimes I hold back and be like, all right, yo, I need that energy for tomorrow. Um, I practiced that when I was in Brooklyn. I did like a good six months. So. My energy of understanding it is like and higher than a lot of people. They can't control their urges. I could control my urges off of working out. So working out taught me how to control my energy. So if I don't feel like, if I wanna have sex with you right now, and I say to myself, my mind says, say no. I would listen to my mind and listen to my body. A lot of people can't listen to their to they, um, they mind because their mind is not that strong. You feel, you feel me? Mindset, you can, you're gonna have a strong body, but your mindset cannot be that strong, that's why it's a difference. It's a lot of different things. Ooh. Your dad is on... Yeah, my dad is on point with a lot of stuff. He teach me. He, he say he proud of me. He said that I finally starting to understand life and I finally understand it. He called me. He said he proud of me. Um, my father never told me he proud of me for a long time. When he called me and told me he proud of me, I almost shed a tear for that. And so he said uh, he probably he listened to me. He talked to me. He listened to what I'm saying now. And I never had that. All, all I had was like, you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. Now it's like, okay, how you doing, Simeon? Smiling. I could, be, without even seeing him, I could know he's smiling. I'm proud of you, my boy. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Um, why? You're like, because the person you are now, I like you. I like how you are now. I like the person you are now. You listen. You understand it. Not everything my father tell me is right, but when he's wrong, I tell him like, yo, bro, I don't feel like that's good. And he's telling me why. He asked me why now. Before he never asked me that question, why? So now he's trying to get my input on certain things. So that's the difference between um, my father and I now. So a lot of people need to understand, man. You need to talk to your father and understand, have that relationship with him where he can listen to your point. Not by just snubbing, giving him anything. Um, did you clock out? What you mean? When I was working or something? What you talking about? You never heard a man speak like this? Um, you know why? Because I'm... I have no fear, bro. I have no fear what people think about me. I have no fear of what people think about my past. I have no fear what people want to think about my future. You feel what I'm saying? I have no fear because I'm just trying to better myself at as today point. So if you thinking before Simeon it was a lame, this and that, whatever. I used to be one of the flyest guys around when I was younger. Not because of thing I used to have all the new Jordans. Nowadays Jordans cost like four, five, six hundred. And I used to get that shit for seventy dollars, eighty five dollars. Nice clothes, this and that. Now I starting to understand like bro, tell the people the truth. You had all that but you was freaking broke. Be honest with you. And I was old age. I'm not talking about no freaking 18. I was like 24, 25. Nothing broke. People laugh at me. Family laughed at me. Did I get mad? No. I just understand. I forgive, but I don't forget. 
You feel me? All right now, whoever was doing, whoever did me bad, I don't want to be mad at you. I just, I, I'm not even gonna sit there and talk bad about you. I just understand. Thank you for the experience of making me understand that a lot of human beings in this earth is ain't shit. And the ones that was there for me, I cherish them. You feel me? The ones that are there for me, you don't see. You don't hear and speak. You don't see their face. You don't do nothing. But I got two serious brothers that nobody in the world, none of my friends that we chill with each other every day know about. Serious, like serious friends. It's like that, that would, that would, that would just happy for me. Happy for everything I have done. Every step of the way. But, um, let me get off this topic. Let me, let me go get some food. I feel like today, I feel like I ain't resting like 11 days, so today could be a nice rest day for me. Even though I did a little workout and running, I feel like I can't overdo it, man, all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I speak, I think the end, I think speaking so much make me lose a lot of energy. It's hot as shit out here too. It's like fucking 89 degrees. Um, the vibes that we spoke about, that I spoke about right now was so good for me mentally that to make me understand that I'm on the right path of just moving forward. Um, what do you, hold on. Your actions, yes. So right now, <clears throat> what I, how I look at human beings right now is it's staying go off the deep end. What's your diet like? Um, I eat salmon. I eat. I don't try to eat that much rice. I run. Um, what else? I drink a lot of seamoss. I have a lot of seamoss from back home that I took from back home. Um, what else? I try to um, meditate. I try to think positively. I try to think positively. I try to pray to the Lord. Um, try. I used to pray a lot every day, but nowadays I just fall asleep and just think about just relaxing. But now I gotta go back into that. So. Um, it's little things that you can do to better your diet. Diet is not only about eating. Diet is about your way you move, the way you think, the way you the pray. Pray is the most important thing. Prayer will help you with anything. Salmon, wild salmon, yes. Wild salmon, I hope. I know, yeah, it looks, it sounds bad, but it's all I want to do is eat proper. Sometimes I don't eat salmon, sometimes I eat like sawfish and stuff like that. Love from UK. Um, a lot of people from UK, man, thank you so much for, I wish, um, not wish, but I'm not gonna say that. One day I'm gonna come travel. How do you um? How do I travel without what? Without the, you talking about the stuff that's going on? I took the test. Um, I'm, I'm I'm not. I don't have that. I don't have that. I took the test. I don't have it, so I travel though. I travel. I took the test back. I don't have it. I don't feel like I have it. I feel strong as ever. I feel strong as ever. I feel good. Ah, uh, I feel good. I train the way I train, the intensity I train, the way I move. I just did, I just did some. I'm gonna post a video. Uh, what you said? And you chop your head off, you're gonna be 140. Yeah, man. My head is, my head is not that big, no. Of course, you're gonna value them, of course. Right now, it's like, all my friends and them, they value who I am as a person. Like, I don't bother nobody with no issues or no accident, anything. Um, I just work out and give them, when they call me to ask me advice on working out, I just give them good advice to tell them, no, don't be, don't be a me. Don't be a, other people, don't do that. Just try your best to get that because you're gonna need that in the future. I try to be a positive role model for my friends, family, and people around me. That's all I'm trying, at least when I leave this earth, at least they can not say that this guy was not trying to better people around him or better people from afar, or even trying to be a, a, a good person, a good kid to the Lord, you feel me? I'm chill, bro. I'm a dangerous person when it comes to like thinking about my self-defense stuff, but like right now, it's like I don't think about negative things. I don't think about shooting. I don't think about none of that stuff like that. I just think 
thing. Like you got guys right now that a lot of freaking people look up to. All they talk about is, like, yo, you know, I, I, I shoot that nigga. Oh, yo, I, I have my gun for anything. I don't talk like that because like, that's just putting stuff in the air. You can't put bad vibes in the air. Just remember I tell you that. It don't matter who you is. You don't matter you a millionaire. You don't matter who you is. Stop putting bad vibes in the air because whatever you put in the air, you get back. I only put, like, yo, I got to get this done. Last time I posted a video, I said I'm going to do a thousand push-ups with my legs up. Somebody said, I said Monday. Somebody said, but today is Sunday. You didn't get the point. I just said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it Monday because I put, st I put stuff on in the air before I do it. Before I do it, I push your shit in the air. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to change around. Don't call my, oh, send me a nah, Don't do this. You should do that. No. I'm going to do this because that's what I put in the air. I'm going to be this person. That's what I put in the air. I'm going to get better because I put that shit in the air in myself. I'm not trying to get better for, for you to feel like I'm better than others. I try to get better for myself. It's a benefit out of all this stuff I'm doing for myself. When I went down to St. Louis, you know what people were saying? Man, you look good. Man, you look good. You know what people I saw in St. Lucia? And I'm like, damn, bro. You didn't grow an inch, bro. Like, all that good food down there, you didn't grow. You ain't looking good, bro. You looking, you looking like you a bone, bro. And you eating every day. Like, come on, bro. Change certain things. I, I, I didn't say that, but that's what's in my mind. Like, yo, come on, man. Like, y'all don't understand what life is. My father, in growing up, was an old fitness guy. Now, all the guys, when they saw me in St. Lucia, you know what they said? You just like your father, boy. What you mean? He was just like you, bro. He loved fitness. And you just, just like him, bro. I'm proud of you. You see how people could be proud of you? Proud of you doesn't mean that what you're driving or anything like that. Proud of you mean like the legacy you hold for for what the, gen the older generation had. I'm the older generation with the new generation. I'm both in, I'm both world, bro. I can do both things. I can do older generation moves and I can do the new generation moves. And I'm, I'm not talking about levers or anything like that. Going in the internet, I'm being... Yes, you can't control nothing, you can control yourself, though. That's the next thing, too. That's the last thing I'm going to talk about before I get off this. You just said it right. Listen, let's say, you're, let's say you're mother, right? Your mother is your mother. You love your mother and, and to death. If she is wrong, she is wrong. If she do dumb stuff, she do dumb stuff. If you cannot agree with your moms with certain things, you cannot agree with your moms. If your father and your moms is arguing and your moms is wrong and you don't like your father, you cannot agree with your moms. You can't, I mean, you gotta, I mean, stay afloat and then control the situation. You cannot, you cannot expect the people to do good things. Like, let's say if I'm a saver, I can save money, and let's say somebody else can't save money. You can't expect the person to, to, to be you. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta just, oh, my legs. You just gotta be yourself. You can't control the whole situation. You can't control anything. So for a lot of us guys, I, I can admit to that. That's why a lot of us girls is hurt. I'm, I say a lot of us girls, no homo, bro. That's why a lot of girls is hurt. Yo, do not, what I just said, they do not make this shit a big deal. Bro, um, a lot of girls is hurting because of, um, a lot of us guys is controlling a lot of things and we can't control a lot of things. Certain things, if you talk to this girl and you don't like that about this girl and that's what she like to do, you can't control her. It's, you get what I'm saying though, man. I can't go beyond what I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm not trying to think about what I'm, I'm sounding dumb right now. So I'm not even trying to go beyond that. Man. My legs is hurting me. That's why, man, I'm so focused on other things. Um. But I only control myself, man. I'm aware and keep my head in the school. Yeah, definitely, bro. I just gotta, I just gotta control myself. I can't control people, bro. Yeah, I'm dedicated, bro. You gonna see, you gonna understand. Every day, I'm, I'm not miss a day. Was a team see me requirement? I have a lot of requirements, bro. One of my requirements is um, one of my requirements is doing a whole hour workout, and for every minute on the minute pull ups, every minute on the minute dips, every minute on the minute push ups, two sets of that back to back. That's not the only requirement. And the next requirement is training with me for a whole week. A whole week, you don't have to be close to me, but if I tell you what to do, I'm gonna do the same thing. 
training with me. And you don't have to be my numbers if you're not that good. But if you can train and think about training as like um, a tool for yourself, you can't be a you can't be a part of me, bro. A lot of people want to be a part of you because of of just because people respect your name and stuff like that. Nah, I want people to be a wolf. When I mean by alone, I'm, when I mean by a, a, a wolf, I mean by you can train with people and train by yourself. You can't just need people to train or need me. I tell people that all the time. When they was around me, I say, if you need me to train, I don't like to be around you. I need that motivation too. One thing I could say, I'm gonna say this clear for people to hear. I'm gonna say this for the young guys. And that's for me to you, right? I think that's gonna be the best motivation I ever leave on this planet Earth. If somebody, if you want in the same person as training together and you blow past them, do not slow down because you blow past them. Do not slow down because that's your friend. Do not slow down because that's your brother. Do not slow down because of their ego, because of the way they're gonna think about you or you're gonna lose them as a friend. I'm not say, I don't wanna say F them, but you really gotta think it like that. Fuck them. If they don't want you to, if they don't, if they don't understand that you got better, and you and you gotta keep going, if they if they try to keep up with you, and if you like you'll slow down because you you better, you can do do that. You gotta wait for me certain time. We gotta train. No, it's not happening, bro. This is not happening with me. Before that wasn't happening with me. Now it's not happening to me. If I'm better than you, I'm gonna be training like I'm better than you. If I'm not better than you and you better than me, I'm gonna be trying to keep up with you. That's my mentality. I'm not on here to try to try to you trying to feel like, oh, I got to, I got to, you know what I mean? Why, I'm, why is he mad? Why is he better than me? Why is he that? Or, or you coming to me and saying, oh, Simeon, why are you moving so? Nate, shut up, bro. That don't make no sense. You're a grown man. If I'm better than you, bro, I am not slowing down. If we had to do 500 push-ups and I could do 1,500 push-ups, I am not doing freaking 500 push-ups because of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you gotta, my bad, dickhead. Nigga, that's not your bad, bro. You wrote that just like that. You wrote it just like that. You wrote it just to, to this, not disrespect, but you wrote it just like that. But what I'm trying to say is that a lot of us young guys gonna go throughout that experience because I went throughout it, and a lot of guys is gonna go throughout it when they train it together. They're gonna have certain people that they're gonna train with. You're gonna get better in the person, and the person's gonna be fell away, or the person's gonna act like you're slowing down. I don't give two shits if the person is your brother. Then you tell that brother, yo, stop talking to me. If you're gonna get mad at me for getting better, stop talking to me. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> if you, bro, I'm, I'm, if my father tell me, you, bro, I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna hear it, bro. If, if my best friend, I don't wanna hear it. And nowadays, I don't have, like, best friends, bro. I have, like, Good, good, good people, bro. Feel me? Um, because you call somebody your best friend, they don't think the same way about you. So be careful who you call your best friend. Best friends are supposed to be called best friend. Best friend supposed to be a female, a female thing. You're supposed to be a best friend with a female, not a male. Trust me. They got some males out there. Dangerous. Hey, dangerous with the mind, boy. They will make you look so stupid for a girl, boy. They will make you look so stupid for a next guy. They will make you make you so stupid just to look, for you to look stupid, more stupid than them. That's a big fact. If you don't, if you don't understand of being alone and being a lone wolf, I'm not telling you go. One thing my father tell me is, I am not telling you go be alone for the rest of your life. I'm telling you they have time, a period of time, months, two months, three months, four months. You want to be by yourself, nobody with nobody else. If you can't do that, that means that you a sucker. You need people. If you don't need people, that make you stronger when you with people. That's that's it's a, just a manly thing. If you can't be a man, it's up to you. If you can't train by yourself and you're trying to compare yourself to others, um, to be honest with you, you cannot be compared because you are a team person. If you are a one man wrecking crew and you a team person at the same time, that's what make you a leader. And a leader doesn't mean that you always have to be above the leader. A leader, I'm, I'm on Team Beast Mode, right? I'm not the leader of Team Beast Mode, but I am not the nigga that's going to walk at the back of the leader. I'm sorry. I could tell him that in his face. I could tell him that behind his back. I could tell him that it. But the, the only thing difference with that leader I'm talking about is because he told me the same thing before I even joined. You, think you don't have to be under me, bro. I want you to join Beast Mode because you are Beast Mode. I see you. I watch you. I observe you. 
you you fall you part of this park. I watch you grow up as a young kid playing basketball. I see you transition from basketball to the work in that area. So I'm just telling people like, stop trying to be followers and be a follower leader. If that makes sense to you, that's why I say I don't want you to be my fan. I want you to be a person that's gonna take what I'm telling you and have it so you can so we can shop and steal together. If we can't shop and steal together, what's the what's the point of trying to better? What's the point of me trying to better you if you can't better me? And that's how y'all bettering me by showing love and respect to this channel by watching, subscribing, and even donating. And I'm not begging for that. I'm just telling you, if you're not helping me work out, you're showing me love the other way. Um, but I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. I feel like that was a good thing. I'm gonna lay down, put my shirt on, lay down, get a little nice stretching, and take a little fresh air for like 10 minutes, meditate, think about nothing but just feeling good, and eat something. But um, thank you, okay? Appreciate y'all, it's like 10%. My phone is like 10%, so it's gonna show off anyway. But um, love and respect, man. I'm about to, I'm about to post a video, so no worry, okay? Love yourself, of course, man. I love myself even ten times more nowadays since I seen my grandmother. And I ain't gonna lie to you. If you think, if you think anybody can come into my world and destroy that, my peace is already at. My mind is already at peace. I saw my grandmother. I saw what I needed to see. I saw how she smiled. She looked at me, she talked to me. She 93 years old, strong woman. That's all I needed to see in this world. That's all, not all I needed to see, but what I really needed to see was her, and I saw her. So, yeah, take care.